Hello, my name is Katherine Castillo and this is week four discussion question. Um, I chose an article this week to talk about touch and um, touch therapy in counseling. So the article that I chose, the title is The Use of Touch Counseling, um, an Ethical Decision-Making Model. Um, this was an interesting article as it dug deeper into the very sensitive topic among the counseling community. The topic discussed um, the topic discussed is the use of touch in counseling, which is a branch off the trunk of the larger tree, which is boundaries. Um, I did not realize there were different types of touch commonly used um, in therapy and that they had so many benefits. Um, we are all familiar with the negative impacts of touch during counseling, but this is the first reading um, I've come across that talks about the benefits. I'm also surprised there was not a sufficient ethical decision-making process for touch during therapy. Um, the article does a pretty good job of explaining uh, the use of therapeutic touch as well as the decision-making process. So first I'd like to talk about the types of touch as well as the behaviors associated with them. Um, they are as follows, inadvertent touch, conversational markers, socially stereotyped touch, touch as an expression of therapeutic relationship, and touch as a technique. Um, the beha behaviors associated are handshaking, hugging, um, and touch used to get another person's attention. An interesting thing I learned about um, this touch is that it can be another avenue for, um, for someone to relate to another person. It is difficult to think that someone may not know this already, but after thinking about it, we cannot assume anything. There are people in this world who have never been hugged before. Interesting concept, isn't it? I can think of several times in my life offhand that a hug uh, was so therapeutic and just what I needed at that moment in life. When someone experiences an emotional situation, hugging may be the best form of comfort and very therapeutic for the client. Second, I realize this is all very controversial as it can be viewed as boundary crossing or violation. The article did specify that touching during counseling has to be initiated by the client. What are your thoughts on therapeutic touching in counseling? Would you allow it or use it? Um, what would the circumstances have um, to be for you to be okay with this type of therapy? And if you heard a bunch of noise in the background, I have a kitten. She's brand new and she's very loud. <laughs> Thanks for watching.